concludes our department committee reports and brings us to our public hearing. Tonight we have a second reading of CUP 12-02, Consideration and Action on Application by Jacqueline Pascal for a Conditional Use Permit for a Family Personal Care Home um, at 1952 Fars Road in Snellville, Georgia. Mr. Davis, do you want to give us a briefing on this? KCUP 1202 is a conditional use permit for a adult uh, family care home, 1952 Fars Road here in Snellville. The location is here between Scenic Highway and North. If you turn off Scenic Highway going up Fars Road, it'll be the second house on the right. The applicant, uh, Ms. Jacqueline Pascal, is requesting that the CUP be granted for use as an assisted living facility or family personal care home. Uh, she is also requesting that the board give her a variance for the lot size. Her lot size is currently 0.42 acres and we just recently passed the uh, revision to our ordinances bringing us in line with the county which gives us a one acre lot as a minimum. Um, standards that were adopted in the ordinance running down your package list here uh, minimum one acre lot size the applicant is requesting a variance she has uh, 0.42 acres so her property does not meet that requirement the property is adjacent to two single family dwellings there are no buffers in place and it does back up into a fairly large green space about four, four acres required that it be licensed by the Department of Human Resources of the state of Georgia as a family personal care home and the applicant has made application to them and is in the process of that uh, work. That has to be done before we can give an occupational tax certificate. The uh, family personal care home will have to apply for the occupational tax certificate and the business license prior to operation. Uh, the applicant has agreed to that and uh, since the occupational tax certificate can't be issued until the conditional use permit and the state documents are in we're okay with that and uh, if you wish to be if this is approved it would be granted for care of up to six adults age 18 and older the applicant has proposed that the facility will serve a maximum of three clients uh, residents aged 18 years or older this property is on a septic system, which brings up a different problem. The uh, Gwinnett County Department of Environmental Health did an inspection of the system, and the actual occupant load that it would support currently is three persons. So the three clients pretty much take up the septic field capacity. The dwelling has to be the legal primary residence of the owner and she has agreed to move in to the house that would become her primary residence. And the operation of the home would have to be consistent with all of our rules and regulations of the home business in the city, which the applicant has also agreed to that. The staff recommended denial. Uh, we based that on the lot size, the condition with the septic system, and um, did come up with some conditions, you'll find them in your package, should the board decide to make this CUP, we would have these conditions be considered. In the event the property is not occupied by Jacqueline Pascal and operated as a family personal care home within six months from the date of mayor and council approval, or if the property is occupied and operated as a family personal care home and later vacated by Jacqueline Pascal, the conditional use permit would become null and void. In other words, it goes to the owner, not the property. 
the on-site sewer management system will need to be either upgraded or replaced or the unit will have to be tied into the public sanitary sewer. Then all the property maintenance code violations, uh, which we did note some, and uh, they have to be brought into lawful compliance. She is working with that. The Planning Commission took this information and they voted unanimously for a denial and accepted our staff conditions to forward them on to you. If there are any questions, I'll be glad to try and answer them. Any questions for Mr. Davis? Thank you, Mr. Davis. Is the applicant present? Is Ms. Pascal present? Or any representative of Ms. Pascal? Okay. Is there anyone here that would like to speak in favor of this application? Anyone here who would like to speak in opposition of the application, please come forward and state your name and address for the record. you that you deny the application for, for no other reason than the fact that the house is in such a state of disrepair. Um, can I show you some pictures? My wife and I have lived there for 15 years. I go by there twice a day. Um, in a minute you'll see what the driveway looks like. Oh, you can? Okay. Just everybody else can? Um, and I don't think this house has been occupied in about 10 years. It certainly doesn't look like it. Um, this is the boarded up front door uh, that, I don't know why it's boarded up, but you can see that there is um, considerable mold across the top, across the, the fascia. Apparently there is water runoff. Uh, there's a, a good bit of, of uh, leak kind of build up there. I can't imagine that this house would be safe to inhabit like it is. It's probably mold and mildew all through that thing. Um, I don't know if you're, if you folks remember getting this, that uh, we said about the perils in adult care homes, that for every one inspector, there's about 100 homes they have to, to inspect, and they just can't do it. Uh, 100 citations have been issued on these things, and 14 homes are still still being used. I mean, it, the, the system just doesn't work. And we don't want yet another one of these that doesn't work in our neighborhood. Uh, there's a CP house right down the street. We hear, hear the adults in that house screaming on, on in the evening that uh, maybe there's nothing wrong, but um, these should be single family homes through there. We would ask that you not give a variance, that you uphold what's already written Any other comments in opposition? CUP 1202. Marcy Fair, 1749 Richdale Drive. This property cannot meet the regulations that we have in place. And we need to have quality in Snellville. This property needs to be bulldozed. And you don't want to put anyone in it. It's not good health-wise. So I recommend that you deny, please. Any other comments? <clears throat> Kurt Schultz, 2027 Tanglewood Drive. Uh, please deny this. We've had a similar situation up in Knob Hill and uh, Empire, and it was a, a very similar situation. They, uh, they didn't have, they were on a septic tank. Uh, the, the clients were wandering around the house and in the neighborhood. Uh, there's sirens going on all through the night, um, just all kinds of problems. And there may be a place for for these type of facilities in, in Snellville, but uh, I agree with the first gentleman. They shouldn't be put in uh, single family residential areas. Please turn this down.
My name is Todd Warner, 3144 Turf Terrace, Snellville, Georgia. Um, I have a little bit different perspective. Uh, I had the opportunity to spend some time over the last couple of weeks with my aunt, whose stepson is autistic, and he is housed in a personal care home. Has been for most of his adult life, and it, it's a personal care home in North Carolina. One of the issues that is of the utmost importance of most importance to the families of those who are housed in these type of, of developments is their personal safety. And the enforcement within the state, within the city, is sorely lacking. Um, if we are going to house the weakest among us in these kind of conditions, at minimum, we should make sure that they have the same safety requirements put in place as we do in a standard hotel. If there were ever a fire, if there was ever an emergency, there is no provision in a standard residential dwelling, particularly one that's been built more than 20 years ago, for ingress or egress for individuals to get out of these, these homes. And for emergency personnel to go in and try to remove someone from the home who's oftentimes might not be of sound mind or be in a state of confusion, to say the least, it, it puts our first responders at risk. So please, if you choose to go forward with this application, at least put in place the same restrictions and requirements that you would put on any hotel that would come to our city. Seeing no further comments, we'll close the public hearing. Uh, is there a motion by council? Yes. Councilman Krauss. Councilwoman Krauss. I would like to make a motion ba based on the detailed information from the planning department and John Davis, from the people that have stepped forward this evening to deny Cup 12-02 for this personal care home. And There's a motion. Is there a second? Yes. Second by Mayor Pro Tim Witts. Uh, is there any further discussion or debate by council? This is a, in my estimation, a very bad situation. We need these types of facilities for people. We do not need this type of property. I think Mr. Warner's comments are very well taken. Went by there yesterday. There are no gutters on this house. <clears throat> I can only imagine the kind of mold and water damage that has occurred, and I just think you're putting people at risk, and uh, this clearly does not qualify, and I think it should be denied, so I'll second that. Any further comments? Seeing none, I'll call the question. All those in favor of denying CUP 12-02 signify by raising your right hand. That's six in favor. All those opposed, zero opposed. CUP 12-02 is denied six to zero. That concludes our public hearing. We'll now move on to new business. Uh, first item.